Ah, Goo Lagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on paradise. SpongeBob, do I look- Oh, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot! Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn! And then I'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. The most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Mrs. Puff, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff.
I don't think he needs a hand. Just met the Spongeinator. I'll be glad to have this back. Fresh like a spring breeze. Uh oh, I can't swim. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Feel like a new sponge. Uh oh, I can't swim. SpongeBob. You were collecting golden spatulas! Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am! Have you seen one? Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top! If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see it for yourself. I love opening presents. Oh, sparkle!
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get all wet. a golden spatula at the end of this cave! Wow! Ah, a little shade on a hot day. Ah, a little shade on a hot day. Ah, a little shade on a hot day.
Quanva! Help me find Patrick! I have a task that I think he can help me with!
That's much better. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. The pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. One goes boom! Ooh. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. a whistle.
Where am I? Sauce. like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. 
it shines. I feel like a new sponge. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around.
here is your reward. How many of these do I have to carry? A simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Has met the Spongeinator. Opening presents.
Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. That's much better.
as a rock. She got to carry a lot of stuff around. That's my
don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been released. By a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square. an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Losing its head. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Losing its head. Oh, nice flying, uh, dead thing move by Patrick. Oof. Well, hey, my back feels better. The robot's 
losing its head. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match. The old clothesline move! There's the robot's vulnerability! Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Oh, what an uppercut! Fresh like a spring breeze! the robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. What is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashy neon sign that says Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Like a new spot.
bitter. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. I love open presents. I feel like a new sponge. Heroes! Hit me with the water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Lemme, man! Twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goodie! Hey, sponge kid. You really want to help out? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've had a little problem with some robots down in the Mermel Air. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermel Air. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet?
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. Evil! Mermaid man and barnacle boy. You shouldn't sneak up on mermaid man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, mermaid man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system! It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! But why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments! Ah, uh, ah, uh, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! I love opening presents. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge, soaking up crime. Funginator.
feel like a new sponge. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's gonna happen. Ah, yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by a geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? All this wasted space. How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! You're my hero. Hey! You're yellow! When did that happen? <laughs> I've got a job for somebody who can throw things! Leave it to us! I'm great at throwing! All you have to do is up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw, no, throw, throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Woo! Up we go. Hmm. Gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders.
I'm sure you gotta carry a lot of stuff around.
push button can't stop self. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. There's enough power.
What do you need all that power for? Why my here? Have a golden spatula. Much better. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like a spring breeze. Mm-hmm. 
of the security system, you need to press all of the override buttons spread throughout the mobile layer. The first one is here. Press the button! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! running. Recesses of the Mermelair. Wow! Oh, you took the elevator. Uh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow! You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Take that! like a new sponge. Like a new sponge.
like a spring breeze. Boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. Might be one that's counting on you. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. to do laundry. Feel like a new spot.
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. in the morning. It smells like victory. You just met the sponge in it.
Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Body second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. I have regained control of the security system. Here's the reward. I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... victory. You should go help Mermaid Man. He's in the village containment area. Security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice and all its multi splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That villain containment system. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic flounder? The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. in the wash with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How oh, horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, old coop. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man.
Highness. Are you still here?